Um, we'll do a take a roll call. Uh, Councilor Vida. Present. Councilor Bradley MacArthur. Present. Councilor Cass. Present. Councilor Lavasi. Present. Councilor O'Brien. Present. There are five present. And would anyone like to um, open the um, uh, a nomination for a chair? Nominate Councilor Vida. Councilor O'Brien nominates Councilor Vidal. Anyone else? I close, oh. no, close nominations. Councilor LaFosse closes nominations. When I call your name, please state um, the name of which you would like to um, nominate for chair. Uh, Councilor Bradley MacArthur. Carlos Vidal. Councilor Katz. Carlos Vidal. Councilor LaFosse. Carlos Vidal. Councilor O'Brien. Carlos Vidal. Councilor Vidal. Carlos Vidal. With a unanimous vote, uh, Councilor Vidal, you are the, the chair. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for your support. Looking forward to working with you guys for a whole year. It uh, should be fun. So let's get to work. Any questions you guys might have, you can always reach out to me via email or via phone, whatever is easier. And uh, we're going to get uh, get things started here. Do we have any minutes? I think there may be minutes, but I, I didn't have, I don't think they were done before we do, we I did have it. De December 27th. Yeah. Okay. I'll make so the motion for approval. All right, Councilor LaFonso makes a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 People say no. The ayes have it. Thank you very much. What is the first item in our agenda? The first item is uh, lodging house renewal of 1113 Walnut Street. Okay. To the new members of the committee, uh, usually what happens in this scenario, we uh, renewals, uh, the paperwork is submitted to the clerk's office, and uh, as long as everything is looking good from their end, and we don't have any sort of complaints or concerns from the war counselor, we we'll go ahead and approve each renewal individually. Um, sometimes, depending on, on whether they are the same owner, we might do them as a group, but usually we go one by one. Um, so in this case, just check in with the clerk. Um, has everything been submitted? All the paperwork I've added? Yes, this list is uh, good to go. Okay, perfect. All right. Do you have a motion for a approval of the renewal? Make a motion. Council of House makes a motion for approval of 11 uh, 13 Walnut Street. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. The ayes have it. Uh, Lodging House Renewal 2022 20, Adams Street. I think that's. That's Wardy, right? Yes. yes. Is there anything from the war counselor regarding this? She, she just stated that just everything's all good to go there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do we have a motion for approval? I'll make the motion for approval of 2022 Adam Street. Thank you very much. Council Closer makes a motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. You guys have it. Thank you. Lodging House Renewal at 4446 Chester Ave. All right. That's Wardy as well. Chester Ave. Yep, it is Wardy. Perfect. All in favor say aye. 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 say no. You guys have it. Thank you. Lodging House Renewal 118-120 Robin Street. I'll make a motion. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> make a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Both say no. You guys have it. Lodging House Renewal 24-26 High Street. I make a motion for approval. I'll motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Proposed say no. You guys have it. Lodging House Renewal at 94 Adams Street. I look it over. I'll make a motion for approval. House Renewal House makes a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Proposed say no. You guys have it. Lodging House Renewal 74 Adams Street. Make a motion for approval. Councilor Brown makes a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Proposed say no. The ayes have it. Lodging House Renewal, 104 Adams Street. Make a motion for approval. Councilor uh, Bradley MacArthur makes a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Proposed say no. The ayes have it. Lodging House Renewal at 49 uh, 51 Brown Street. <coughs> That's also wording. I'll make the motion for approval. Council Foster makes a motion for approval. Everybody say aye. Aye. Council Foster says no. You guys have it. Lodging House Renewal, 6 Park Place. All right. Where is it? 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 Where
Ward 6. Or perhaps Liz. Park Place might be off of Crescent Street at the top. Well, Park Ward Place is Street. basically right across the street off of Main, so it's Ward 6. Ward 6, yes. Yeah. Oh, I know what that is. That's right, uh, right uh, near KFC. Yes. Get a motion for approval for this one? Make a motion for approval. Councilor Bradley MacArthur makes a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Those say no. Yes, have it. Lodging House Renewal 12 14 Lowell Street. Entertain a motion for approval. So move. A motion for approval. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those say no. Yes, have it. Lodging House Renewal. 124-126 Ash Street. Once again, Ward 8. I'll make that motion for my house. Mm -hmm. Motion again for approval on that one. Thank you very much. I'll call the next motion for approval. All in favor say aye. Aye. We'll say no. Okay. Nice job. Pledging House Renewal, 21-23 Pine Street. Lodging House Renewal at 1719 Chestnut Street. Mm -hmm. Council will make a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those say no. Yes, have it. Lodging House Renewal at 5254 Bedford Street. Make a motion for approval. Council will make a motion for approval. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those say no. Yes, have it. Is it possible to take items 17, 2 through 23, make a motion to take 17, 2 through 23 collectively, or do we have to do those individually? No, we can do it collectively. So I have a, uh, would like to make a, a request on, on those. On which particular? Um, actually, all of them, if I could. I can I can address this collectively. Sure, um, I apologize, that, that is Ward 7. So, I yeah, so I, I, so I, I just don't know, did I request that correctly? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I uh, after the campaign, uh, so Brandeis is in Ward 7, it's in my ward. Um, I was made aware of an issue regarding the Brandeis storms that I, I want to bring us to our attention. Um, I learned it through the Justice, the Brandeis newspaper. I made some notes, so I apologize if this sounds formal. I don't mean it to. Uh, what I learned is that there are issues on campus housing and, and involving mold, mice, and potentially water contamination. Um, I have pictures of the mold, I have pictures of the mice pathways. Um, I learned this through the uh, Justice, which is the university newspaper. Um, it's troubling, especially during a global health crisis, um, and mold is, is a health issue as it is. Um, and the article goes into suggesting that there could be a bigger campus-wide problem between students and the departments that deal with this. Um, so just some highlights that I discovered. Um, some of these involve uh, properties that aren't on our list. Uh, mold growing in the Ziv Quad, mice infestation in Gordon Hall, which is part of the North Quad, um, uh, reports of mold in the Cell Quad, the village in Rosenthal. Um, students in Gordon Hall noticed uh, holes in their rooms close to the central heating units. Uh, they described it as a mouse highway by the heaters. Um, and possible contaminated water in North Quad's cable hall that purportedly made several students sick. Um, Brandeis housing ranges between $9,380 a year to $13,320 a year. But to pay that, you have to pay the tuition fee of $59,400. So it, it, it is apparently maybe some of the most expensive housing we have in the city. Um, I'm acknowledging that the applications were signed off by the health and building departments and that they may have followed standard procedure. Um, I'm not debating that they could have even noticed these issues, but I'm saying that now that we know about them, um, I can't confidently approve um, the, re the uh, request for renewal. Um, Brandeis has a total of 19 residence halls. Um, not all are up for renewal on this list. Um, total, so a total of 19 residence halls. Um, and so it, from my viewpoint, um, we're responsible to these students as residents of our community while they're attending school here. Uh, so what I propose is 
I'd like us to find out more from Brandeis what's going on, uh, what they did to address the issues that the students described, where these issues are, um, and what they're planning to do. Um, I would move um, to table the renewal applications until a representative from campus can address us on the issues. Um, I feel that this will also help us send a message to the students that we as a city council are aware and consider this unacceptable. Um, I've asked the student newspaper that wrote about it uh, to try to connect me with the reporters so I can learn more and, tr and uh, connect to some of the students. Um, and, uh, you know, find out what we can do moving forward if, if we need to change the way that inspections are done on the properties. So there are pictures. I'm willing to share the information with other people. Um, there are a multitude of, there were at least three articles uh, that talk about the mold, the mice, and go into detail about the contamination in the water that they described as um, soap and surfactants that had gotten into the water. Thank you, Councilor. Um, all set? Yes. Have you had a chance to talk to our building department, our uh, code enforcement officer? I have not. All right. Has any of that mold been tested that it's actually mold? Uh, I've only re I can only rely right now on what I've read in, okay. the, in the papers. It looks pretty much like mold. You mentioned a few of these, but not all of them. Are you looking to table all the lodging housing renewal? Um, we probably don't have to. I just thought it was prudent to do it that way. Um, I, did, I didn't see Skyline, which is the newest dormitory, on the, um, this part of the article. North Quad, definitely. Um, the South Quad was definitely mentioned. Um, Zip Quad, which I don't see here. Gordon Hall, that's part of North. Um, the Village was mentioned. So three of them that I can confidently say were mentioned, Rosenthal, Ridgewood, Skyline, and East, um, I didn't see a mention. Okay, so are we tabling so which ones would you like us to approve tonight, if, if you're okay with that, of course. I mean, it's up to you, at this point we'll leave it. I, I think we need to take the next step and see what you want to do once the table, we need to sure. move on. Um, I, I just think it's, uh, I felt safe as just waiting on all of them except for Skyline. Understood. Are you looking to do any sort of motions to invite someone here? Yes. Um, I think I think uh, it would make sense to invite someone, a representative from Brandeis, to to talk to us about this um, and explain what they've done, just so that we can confidently move on. But would you want to have someone from the city? Um, I, that would probably make sense as well. Um, I, I I don't I'm not really focusing on the city and that you know I, I've had house inspections and. I don't know what their inspection entailed, so maybe it is prudent to it just to understand that from the city because th these these mold issues could have been behind a bed, uh, you know, under a carpet or a wall that wasn't going to be noticed until people started to move in and move furniture around. So that's why I made it a point to say I don't think the city necessarily did anything wrong. It just might not have been part of the inspection process to notice these things. I don't think they test water, for example. That wasn't noticed until people started baking um, in one of the dorms. Mm -hmm. Let's make a motion to hear from all the community members. All in favor say aye. Aye. We'll say no. I'm sorry, yeah, you were, you were uh, Yeah, I was just going to recommend that they that you invite a representative from Brandon's in, which mm -hmm. stated after. I okay, I thought you were, sorry, right, I thought you might have some information. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, when we do these inspections, we don't really send anyone there. There's a renewal. All right, so I, I think we need to take two steps here. Um, we'll table, uh, we'll act on these matters collectively and table them. However, we do need to make requests. And I guess we will, 
if you're looking to have a member from Brandeis, whether it's a facilities director or someone that is able to give us answers, that would be good. But at the same time, we are the city of Waltham and we rely on our experts, such as our building inspectors, our you know uh, code enforcement officers, our health department, and I think we should have them here as well because they are representing us as a body. And I will suggest if you were to make any sort of uh, uh, motions, uh, not only to invite Brandis, but also invite our you know, people that work for the city to make sure that they are covering the basis. And what exactly did their, their, their inspection entitled? Mm -hmm. You know, because I said, when the world, in my line of business, when the word mold is mentioned, it, it, it's very tricky because, it, because mold, you know, we can know mold, you can test it. Right. You can just look at something and go, that's mold. Like, I'm not an engineer or a scientist. I don't know if that's mold or not. And, I don't know what the green mold is, and I understand an article from the newspaper has a lot there, and I'm glad they were able to, to bring that up to us eventually, because now we can do something with it, but I think we should definitely have a, uh, someone from Brandeis come here. Uh, have you had any any particular person that you want to invite? I have a motion on? I have not met anyone from Brandeis yet. Do you know any, any the facility director? Usually they have a facility director. Uh, I don't. Uh, I could reach out to the, you know, the community <coughs> liaison, um, and uh, make a connection that way. Okay. And say that I was made aware. And, and Sorry to interrupt. Just because I know what we knew. So it has to be done and written as a request mm -hmm. sent to me. Okay. And then let me know who the people are. And I will ask them to come and do it. So I will, I will identify the people and yeah. send that, the names yes. to you. Yep. Exactly. Okay. And within that, also request for our health director to be present. And I will suggest to bring our uh, building inspector, I believe it's Bill uh, 40. Bill 40, right? Have them in here, or, or, or and as I need to be able to discuss that with us. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to table. Well, first of all, let's, let's have a motion on to act on these matters collectively. Uh, can someone have make that motion, please? So move. One motion, all in favor say aye. 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 Both say no. Someone needs to make a motion to table all these items. Four seven, councilor. Aye. You make the motion. Will, sorry, I make the motion that we table these items until we hear from other sure. people. Sounds good. Yes. On the motion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. The ayes have it. If you be submitted that in writing to our clerk, make sure we have a. a I think we're going to submit this as well. Okay. And uh, get the copies of that to the uh, shelf. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Everything on the matters. Yeah. All right. What is the wish of the committee? There's no adjourn. All right. The motion to adjourn all members say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Yes, have it. Thank you very much.